Welcome to another Toyota Land Cruiser Prado build episode. This video is part one of a three part series I'm releasing over the next week. In this video, I'll be showing you in detail how to remove the third row of seats, which constitutes seats six and seven. In part two of this series, I'll demonstrate how to sound deaden the Prado and what I found worked well for me. In part three, I'll show you how to build a new floor and how to bolt this down, saving you hundreds of dollars in the process. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with the channel. Let's get started. There are some videos about the Prado and removing these seats. However, I found them to skip a lot of important details, especially for people who are nervous about ripping apart their new car. So I hope this video will give you the confidence to work on your vehicle and save you some time in the process. Step one. With the back of the seats folded up and the bum rest still locked back, remove the plastic coverings for the four bolts. I use my plastic trim removal set, but a flathead screwdriver with masking tape around it should do the trick. Remove these four bolts. Given the space, it is difficult to provide the torque required on the bolts to remove them, so I used an end attachment for my vacuum cleaner to help turn those bolts. Step 2. Now fold down the seats, lift up the metal section of the rearmost tie down points and pop open the plastic that is hiding a bolt. Remove these bolts. You can now move the back section of the panel around, but it still feels held in place. Use your pry tool under this panel in between the rear fascia plastic. It pops out easily. Set this panel to one side. Step 3. Look at the top of the metal bracket closest to the rear of the car. You can see three bolts that are close to the back of the vehicle and are recessed slightly. Remove these. Remove the side wing trim pieces to give yourself more room for the next steps. A firm pulls more than enough to remove these. Keep these as we'll put them back later. Remove the two centre bolts that have been staring you in the eyes the whole time. They're just sitting on top. You should be able to wriggle this metal bracket around. To remove it, you must first remove the front plastic fascia. Stick your pry tool between the other panels and the rear fascia and gently pry. Once you get the first pop, the others follow. Remove the front fascia and the metal bracket. Step 4. Lift the back of the seats up to make removing the final floor bolts easier. Once you have access to these, remove them and fold the seats back down. Step 5. Remove the seats out of the car. Be careful not to drag them as this will scratch the bottom of the car. I recommend two people do this step with one on either side. Pull the seat straight out by walking backwards and set it to one side. Repeat this for the other unit. Step 6. With the seats removed, there are just two brackets left to remove. Unbolt the exposed bolts and put the brackets to the side. You have now successfully removed the rear seats of your Prado. One final pointer before we finish up today's video. Keep all of the bolts and plastic trim clips. The reason for this is because if you look closely at the bolt holes, and holes left over from removing the trim, you'll notice that some of these allow you to see straight down to the ground. If these holes are not covered, you'll end up with a cabin filled with dirt and dust, and your next river crossing will cost you a new 12 volt system. If your build doesn't utilize any of the holes, reinstall the bolts and trim clips to ensure your Prado is just as water and dust proof as it was when it left the factory. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll apply straight away. I'll see you soon for part two of this series. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already, and I'll see you in the next video.